Welcome, Orleans, to another Game Order production. I am proud to present to you Seed. All right, folks, here we are with Dark Seed, the original, the redo. I did this 11 years ago with some terrible, terrible audio, so I'm re recording it. Unfortunately, there is no way to turn down the music in game, so once again, you will need to deal with the crazy, annoying, fucking music. But it doesn't look like it's it's jamming up the audio too much here. But it is incessantly repetitive. After a horrifying nightmare, Mike Dawson awakens for the first day in his new house. That sure was some nightmare. It even left me with a monster headache. Go ahead and get a save here. My head feels like it's going to explode. You could take a shower and wash those dirty balls off. These nightmares have given me a mean headache. The thing you want to do is it grab some like medicine. It seems like I've had this headache since I moved in. Out of the medicine cabinet. Now we're going to still move through this Let's Play pretty quickly because honestly there isn't much to it. It was beat under an hour in the last this time. This dilapidated but room gives me the chills. I think I did skip a quite a draft. bit of the... Uh, well I didn't read dialogue that's not normally read. heavy old coat. Here's an old trench coat. I wouldn't be caught dead in that thing. There is a bulge in the pocket of the trench coat. And I ain't wearing it yet, so that's odd. Find a small piece of paper. Lord of the Rings, J.R. Tolkien shit. Overdue library book card. There's just not a lot to look at in the environment. The sheets are blanketed with dust. And now so are my hands. Those wooden planks creak a lot. The entrance to this house must have seen countless guests come and go. But it's just me now. These leather-bound books remind me of my book collection still in storage. That's kind of unsettling. Snag this blueprint from the desk. The blueprint of the house. You can see here... Secret passage number 12. Push on the protruding book and open a secret door. This secret room is dark and damp. Always grab the fucking rope, folks. Always. There's a secret door here. I'm gonna go ahead and leave those open for later use. And don't worry about the doorbell ringing. The mailman will leave our shit. 
In fact, I'm not sure why he rings it more than once. He's kind of an asshole mailman. So the biggest reason I'm redoing this is because we're going to be doing Dark Seed 2 right after this. And after watching Dark Seed version 1 that I did 11 years ago, I was like, no. This is just too shitty. That's back when I had a microphone pointed at the speakers to pick up the game sound. So hopefully this one turns out a lot better. This attic is full of useless items left over from the previous owner. Some of these windows need to have the glass replaced. No use trying, it's really tight. This trunk is locked with a rusty padlock. Nothing in here. An old empty steamer trunk. You open the trunk further and see a slight opening behind it. You pick up a watch. It's 10.44 a.m. Fuck out the way! What a tremendous view of the town from up here. But the wooden railing looks as though it has seen better days. At least the lawn doesn't need mowing. That's a good thing. This place is a shambles. Reminds me of my last garage. The gas tank cover is missing. The trunk swings open! And then you fucking close it! There's a crowbar in the trunk. Let's gank that crowbar for later use. Big cobweb. Yeah, not really anything to fuck with. Now this baby could be a collector's item if it were properly restored. It doesn't look like it's been used lately. This car sure is old, but I think it could still be made to run. Gank the gloves out of the, the console there. The battery still works. Well, I'll be goddamned. Holy shit, all right. I haven't played this in 11 years, so bear with me. How the fuck do I get out of the car? Exitos! See if we can get this chest open with the crowbar. Boom shakalaka!
Are you fucking kidding me? A sturdy handle to the trunk. There's an old diary inside this trunk. Not long after I moved into the house, I began to get some terrible fucking headaches. I never suspected what was wrong until I started seeing shit shift back and forth before my eyes, people's faces, even places in my own house. Something terrible was going on, so terrible no one would have even guessed. I found my answers on the other side, but I grew so fearful that I had moved the mirror to the garage for fear that something would come through to attack me. Who are these ancients? Why do they want so badly to come to our world? What distant galaxy did they come from? I have to try to find these answers, but I cannot pass the sentry which guards the way to the archives. If only I had more time, but it is obvious to me I'm gonna fucking die. The entrance to this house must have seen countless guests come and go, but it's just me now. It's a calm neighborhood out here. My house seems somehow out of time. A relic of a dark past. Or perhaps a dark future. Crime by night. Woodland Hills has recently been struck by an incredible crime wave. Police have no suspects to date, but urge citizens not to stay out too late at night, unless with large groups of people. It's been explained to this reporter that police officials and citizens alike are doing everything in their power. Something, 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 something. Let's grab this box the mailman left us. Oh, it's so fucking cute! It's a Cabbage Patch doll. Fucked up eyeballs. Whoa! All right, let's make another save. I was able to download this CD-ROM version off a of DJ's the road old game site. Empty and unoccupied. Completely free and free of copyright as well. This town looks unnaturally quiet. It's because they didn't want to program a bunch of people in this motherfucker. What a quaint general store with a little bit of everything for day-to-day -day existence. Serve yourself, Mr. Dawson. That's the last bottle of scotch. Boy, Delbert's gonna be mad. Well, fuck Delbert, he can suck my balls. Yeah, you must be Mike. I'm your neighbor, Delbert. Why don't we get together tomorrow? I'll meet you outside your place at six. You're a writer, huh? I'm a lawyer by trade. Why don't you take one of my cards? Great. Thanks, Dildo. I mean, Dilbert. out of jail for free. Alright. This guy's been playing Monopoly too much. An old library. A venerable repository of knowledge. It guards its bounty behind a handsomely decorated structure. This room reminds me of my study, full of leather-bound books. And the rich smell of fucking mahogany!
See that little tiny object there? Don't miss it. This card really should be kept with the book. You'll find that one in aisle C. It's the one with the green cover. Sure is quiet here. You could hear a pin drop. The rows of books in the library stacks all look pretty much the same. I don't see anything of interest. There are a lot of musty old books which are all out of date. Take out the book and pull out a piece of paper. I know that I am doomed, so I will hide the pieces of this journal for someone to find later and hopefully solve the mystery which has baffled me. In the midst of my certain dread that something terrible is happening to me, I had the light moment the other night when old man Tuttle grabbed the key to my clock and swallowed it. What a joker! Imagine how shook I was to learn the old guy had a stroke a week later. It has occurred to me that I may need to retrieve the key to service the clock if I can get it I have, if I have the guts. Pressing left above right will get me in. Another thing on my mind is this whole thing with something is something or something. Here's an entry to an old cemetery, overgrown with weeds. This place looks like no one has been around or tended for a long time. The stone feels rough with sharp edges, as though it had just recently been chiseled. There's no name on this stone. Well, what the fuck is up with that? G. Threepwood, rest in peace. Guybrush! Sherry Day. Always in a haze. Harcourt Benton Mud. He was no tribble at all. JTK. S. Nostromo. Rest in peace. John Campbell. Here lies a man who saw beyond time's horizon. Bobby Jacobs. Never thought you'd end up here, did you? The inscription has eroded with time. The old man Tuttle's mausoleum must have been a rich fucker. These are ancient symbols covering this mausoleum. But I'm not up on my Egyptian. Well, we know the combination. <clears throat> they didn't make it very difficult. It worked. The door opened. Feels like a cold draft just hit me. Or is it just my nerves? There's a clock key among the ashes. Place looks like no one's been around tend for a long time. Jay Poosh, may he rest in peace. R. Leibowitz, a canticle for his deed. Jay McKeegan, 
Fuck that guy. Molly Santini, a rich spinster who somehow managed to take it all with her. It's the only tombstone he didn't read. neighborhood out here. Hello? Hello, Mike. This is Sue at the library. We have a book on hold for you, so please drop by sometime. Alright. We'll get my book. Mike, here's the book that was put on hold for you. What's up, Ginger? All right, mountains of snow. Tune into the right station for a dependable word from something or other. Just for those curious, Dark Seed 2 is a longer game. I've already got a couple videos recorded of it, so... That's a chilly draft blowing through this decrepit old living room. H.R. Geiger artwork up here. As most of you may know, this game is inspired by that. Oh wait, we wanted to go back where I just was. The mirror! Mr. Dawson, we moved the mirror here from the garage as directed, but notice that a piece is cracked off from it, the corner. We didn't do it, really. We'll let you know if it turns up. Sincerely, fuckhead movers. The varnish is still smooth. Dedicated to John McKeegan for 25 years of loyal service. He had a tombstone where we were. This looks like a xenomorph painting here, which H.R. Geiger was also responsible for. I don't have time to take a nap. I feel sleepy. 
I think I will go to bed now. You can press T on your keyboard to pass time. The late as fuck. By the way, I will leave the original video up uh, for those that want to try to muster through it um, for that 11-year-old OG game hoarder dark commentary, although it is a lot harder to hear me. Make sure you take your pills so your head doesn't explode. This dilapidated room gives me the chilies and makes my penis shrink. better not eat anything coming from this kitchen until the cleaning lady has disinfected it. Where is Juanita? The door is stuck. I wouldn't want to see the food in here anyway. Jesus, man. How the fuck are you living like this? Here's an extensive collection of empty wine bottles. The previous owner must have had some reason to drink. Yes, any reason at all is a reason to drink. Spinning in a circle Come on, dude. Don't get stuck on a glitch now. You gotta be fucking shitting me. Alright, had to reload there. And we answered the door and the mailman gives us the mirror shard. If you actually answer it close enough to the ringing doorbell, I'll actually reload that so you can see that again. Because <laughs> that did happen kind of quick after my reload. So day two starts here. Take a shower. Gotta watch out for the spinning, the spinning glitch where you click on something and he just spins eternally. Picked up this broken shard from your mirror and forgot to leave it for you. Sorry about that, Acme Movers. Go ahead and save again. Let's fix our mirror. An unnatural glow emanates from the chamber. Strange machines provide energy, nourishing the creatures cocooned in their sacks. Welcome to the Dark World. Which is basically just a dark representation of our world.
You attempt to pick up the plans only to find that they are holographic. These look like the plans for a gruesome biological experiment on a human. Holy shit! It's not good! It's not good at all! There's a ramp that leads to a raised platform. That machinery hum sets my teeth on edge. I feel like a cold wind just ran through my bones. That machinery hum sets my teeth on edge. Some fucking binox. A cold alien wind blows through this platform above the alien land. There's landscape. a pair of binoculars. Has someone been here before me? Close up. This cold and creepy landscape does not look like an inviting place for a picnic. It's not. And uh, we died. So we pulled the lever with our bare hands and the alien world killed us. So yeah, make sure you save often. Because you can die. Let's go ahead and use the gloves. You pull the lever, a strange humming sound echoes from within, but nothing appears to happen. This is the outside of the alien edifice. It reminds me somewhat of the front of my own house. These petrified images of this alien forest remind me of something I had nightmares about as a child. All my gut feelings tell me not to go in there. However, nothing ventured. It smells like a hospital waiting room here. Perhaps it would be safer to return home now. After we grab the shovel. So obviously we need the shovel before we can get any damage done at the cemetery. Which is where we'll head now. And remember earlier we found the tombstone of John McKeegan. We learned from the clock is a person of interest here. R. Leibowitz, a canticle for his deed, J. McKeegan. The rest of the note, I have excavated a bit and brought back something. In the process, I managed to crack the edge of the mirror, which I thought was unbreakable. The thing I brought back might be able to break it if made into a tool. I have this final page left in my grave, though I doubt my fate is to remain there long. One final word, my enemies have underestimated how strong the events in this world affect things in the other. I have kept them from returning to space by letting my car fall apart. I even hid keys in a special place. I also feel the police station is strongly mirrored in the dark world. Use this information wisely. You might succeed where I have failed.
Come here, Dawson. I want a word with you. Oh, shit. Apprehended by the Popo. You're under arrest, Mr. Dawson. Come with me. What a cold and uninviting place. I never thought I'd be spending a night in here. Put the bobby pins, the money, and the gloves under the prison pillow. Get out a jail free card here. A friend of Dilbert's, huh? Come with me, Dawson. This is the inside of a police station. Cool. There's a gun on the wall. Let me just snag that. That wasn't being protected very, very well at all. Back up. Good to see you, Dawson. Follow me. This must be the neighbor's yard. Coming by, Mike. <laughs> Drinks all my shit and then dips. What a fucking asshole. Well, at least I got a stick out of it. This alien park was obviously engineered by creatures with a bizarre and cruel sense of humor. Hey boy. Go get that shit! Main lobby of an alien jail. They could use a new decorator. So that's where my gun went. You're going to rot for a few centuries, human. Alien graffiti scars the walls. No one who enters here ever leaves alive. Got back our belongings here. You attempt to pick the primitive lock, nothing happens. Dark world. Oh, it works! A long Second time's a charm. Leading to freedom. What's this guy doing? Get 
Greetings, human. I am Shargo, prisoner of this dungeon for nine years. I am prepared to give you the gift of invisibility in exchange for my freedom. You give Sargo the hairpin. He gives you the invisibility headband, which he warns will only work once. The sign over the doorway, if you could read it, would tell you this is the Dreketh's Guards Recruitment Center. Before you is the Recruitment Center, where genetic engineering is being conducted on the recruits. Groovy. You're in the Great Archive Chamber. Many of the ancient secrets are available here for those who know how to access them. I can't reach the screen. Besides, it's not a touch screen. Greetings, Michael. I've been sending you messages over the radio. The ancients have implanted an alien embryo into your brain. Oh, fuck! If born, this creature will destroy you and all of mankind. You must find the ancient power source and destroy it. Also, the police in your world are under the control of the ancient. Avoid them at all costs. Hurry, and good luck. Oh my gut feelings tell me not to go in there. Got some microfiche. Both my headache and these nightmares are getting worse. Time has run out. The alien embryo <laughs> I'm gonna show you what happens if you don't take your, your aspirin in time. You die. Earth is doomed. <laughs> Not inspired by a chest ripper at all. Wash your balls in your ass. Final day, day three. Let's wrap this shit up. I don't think we have any mailman today. I 
Well, yeah. I think the mailman will be here. This dark room looks like it is seldom used. Try turning on the viewer. Smart ass. Home security. Many readers have sent in ideas regarding storage of valuables in the home. One of these ideas involves hollowing out the area beneath a flagstone in your cellar and concealing objects such as jewelry and even cash. This is an ingenious idea and definitely worth looking into. Hint, fucking hint, hint! I don't need Ginger yelling at me. The local barber shop. We can get your hair chopped off for six bucks. It's not a bad deal. Hey! See more liquor. That makes the game hoarder happy. Now we need to wait till 10 a.m. So the mailman, he comes exactly at 10 a.m. every day. All right, prepaid. We got some handle of some sorts. I like how they took all the rest of my shit. Day... Day three. I better not eat anything coming from this kitchen until the cleaning lady has disinfected it. Here's an extensive collection of empty wine bottles. The previous owner must have had some reason to drink. There's a set of keys. Let's grab them. Under the rock was a set of keys. Alright, we got the keys. The alien's power source appears to be located in this chamber. The stone seems energized and warm to the touch. All right, got a power hammer. The tool handle and the loose rock joined to make a glowing hammer. Hammer has no effect on this alien monstrosity.
This organic computer is rubbery and strangely warm to the touch. Blackstone absorbs the alien energies, hardening into an unimaginably dense material. Phone is ringing. Remember, anything seen in the mirror is not real. Only the mirror itself is real. What are you doing? The motor this motherfucker. want to make haste here because the scotch isn't going to keep the car running for long. This large room looks like a control center. You have just engaged the main engine startup sequence. Bye bye, ship. Last thing to do. Fuck that mirror up, baby!
I'm not really sure why I'm here, but I just felt drawn to you. I know it sounds strange, but what's even more strange is that I found these pills in my purse. It's a prescription filled in your name for relief of severe headaches. I'm just beginning to understand. For sale. Well, beat in about the exact same time as we did 11 years ago. Hopefully the audio is better. I know the resolution is going to be a bit better. I think you can play this in 720p. I believe the original I uploaded was in 360. I can't remember. Anyways, you can find that in my One Hit Wonder playlist. I'm going to be removing it from the Dark Seed playlist. But thank you all for watching. There is more Ron October 2022 ready to come. Dark Seed 2 is on the way, baby. Let's get it!